Hello out there in Streamland. It is Tuesday morning, and that means that we're going to be looking at a little bit of Fantasy Grounds Unity. Looks like everything is going on the stream all right. We're waiting for the new campaign to load. So most Tuesdays, I am working on our long-going homebrew campaign. And we have been doing it for quite a while, uh, almost probably three years now. So uh, sort of breaking a routine, so break things up a little bit. Every second Wednesday, we're going to uh, each month, we're going to be doing a new campaign. So last week, last Wednesday, they rolled up characters. Um, and this week is when we actually are officially going to start this new campaign. I basically have to get them all out into the forest. Right now we have two groups of people who are running around. One of them is just in the outskirts of Baldur's Gate. The other is in the forest. So I've got half the group there. Now I just need to get the other half of the group out into the forest. This is taking much longer than usual. I think, oh, there it goes. <laughs> I was just about to say, I'm going to restart um, and see if it'll load again. Um, all right, so the sad thing is, as I've been th thinking about stuff and as I've been mulling over ideas, I still haven't locked down how I'm going to do it. Last week, this was the encounter. Well, this was the location of the encounter. All right, so what we want to do then is we're going to go ahead and I was looking for one more player to join, but I had not heard back from them. So we're just going to go with the two encounters we have. The really frustrating thing is that the third person who was supposed to be joining us is supposed to be the mentor of one of the people here. The two characters are sort of linked. One is a small child eight years old, which goes against my normal D&D &D style. I don't normally like to have that kind of flippancy with logic, but um, I went ahead and let it happen. Decided, hey, it's not game breaking, so we'll go for it. But the whole point was that as they were traveling, this older wizard was mentoring the younger wizard training them, teaching them. Without the older wizard, all we have is this kid who doesn't know anything, who's supposed to be this turning into this powerful wizard over time. So it's not the end of the world, but it just goes, like I said, it just goes against the type of dungeon mastering I like to do. All right, so these group of rats just killed a dog
That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have the townspeople come out. So what happens is these giant rats were in this house. Uh, there was a mastiff in there, and a mastiff came bursting out of the door, came out around, and was killed by the giant rats, and then the kobold monk came up and fought them. I don't see where Zweklos is. I don't remember. I thought he was here. Let's go. Okay, he should not be on this map. He should be on this map. That's weird. Alright, so we're going to put him back on this map. Alright, so that's what I'm going to do. Tell people are going to come out, so let's go ahead and get some tokens, shall we? Tokens are selected. Let's try commoners. I'm just going to put common. A commoner. So here's one commoner. I'm going to go to my NPCs as well. See what kind of commoners I have in here. Alright, so I have possible four a drow commoner, orc commoner. Look through, I'm just looking at the tokens to see what kind of tokens I've got to deal with here. That's two. That's three. Boo. So only one of them, mini dungeons, has even a token, and it's the same exact token. I found it's him. So let's fix that. Can I, well, let me fix it. Let's see. I'm gonna... So hopefully now and forever. Okay, this one is read only. Um, those at least those two will have. So this was a big service that was going on. Do I have a priest? I have a lot of priests. Okay. Human priest. All right, so let's start building this encounter. I don't expect them to fight. I don't want to kill off their new characters. All right, so I have, um, is this the one I did? Let's see. It is, okay. Intro into this new adventures. So we're going to have a new create an item. This is an encounter. This is an angry mob. All right, so this was a church service or, or a temple service going on. We're going to have the priests in here. We're going to have uh, three of them come out. We're going to throw some orc commoners in here just to change things up a little bit. And we're going to have a lot of commoners from here. Thugs are pretty low level. See if any of these have good tokens. What the world is that? Okay, that's an interesting thug. Why, 
won't let me drag the token out. That's the same one, just farther away. I like the zoomed in tokens. And when I make tokens myself, I use the zoomed in version. Yep, okay, so these are all not going to work. We'll go with Bandit. Nope. Yes. Nope. Yes. Yes. Come on, why is it let me add it? Oh, I'm so I'm dragging it from the wrong place. Sorry about that, folks. Drag it from there. All right, um, and it is bugging me. I'm sorry, guys. I gotta. Fix the tokens. I want my peeps to have tokens. Will it let me? It will. Alright, so. So I have some people. Um, we're going to say there's going to be eventually 10. These are not going to be ID'd. Let's open them up. Will let me change it? It will not, okay. It will not, all right. I'm just gonna get rid of them. I don't need the flavor because what's gonna happen is it'll say unidentified creature and also then that will trigger these carrot players and I'll be like, why are they different? So I'll just have these. Okay, and we'll put like three com or commoners. All right, so priests are going to be put, are going to be in here. Is there a window? There's not, okay. There's a window here. And then, not worry about the commoners in the service. They're still going to be listening to the service. We're going to have a yeah, we're going to throw a couple commoners in here. What is this place? This is, um, so it looks like another, maybe a school or something. So we'll have a priest. One of, one of the priests will come from here. Okay, let's go ahead and make this a little bit bigger. All right, so we've got our two commoners in here. They're going to be coming out. That looks like a stable. Come on, come on. So we're going to throw someone in here. This looks like a tavern, yep. So we're gonna throw some commoners in here. Here is another tavern. Put the 
work bouncer on in here. Another couple commoners. Now we'll have another orc bouncer down here at this tavern. This tavern looks like it's a lot more exciting, so we'll put some more commoners in here. All right, so now, uh, I'm gonna give them 100 experience just for um, dealing with this angry mob. Hopefully they'll be smart enough not to die. All right, so we're going to add a little bit of flavor text. Let's see, control one to get rid of that. Make it an encounter so, so I know what I'm doing. And then we're going to look for a quick little peak shore of um all right so we can close this out close this out i seriously doubt i have any kind of angry mob picture how's correct All right, so let's see. I don't remember how I have this stream. I do have it set up correctly. All right, so we'll ask the Google. We're going to say fantasy angry mob. That one looks promising, sort of like that. Let's see. This is from a card game, if I remember right. Um, pretty sure it's not, oops, clicked the wrong button. Pretty sure it's not, uh, what says fantasy role playing? Warhammer. Um, I was gonna say it's not Magic the Gathering, but uh, something similar to that. Take a little look at these, seeing what else. All right, so we're going to start with this. I like the coloration of that one. No, I don't. All right, we're going to stick with this. Save it. So I learned last week how to do this. So you go to SmiteWorks. Make sure it says the SmiteWorks one. Campaigns. We are doing Wednesday 2nd. Images, and this is Angry Mob. Save. And just for fun, I'm going to get this one where it escalates quickly. I like that scene of the fight though, that's pretty cool. I have to keep that in the back of my mind. I might even save it. All right, so now we're going to uh, save this one as Angry Mob 1. Close this side over here. Anything else of interest? Skim, skim, skim.
I think instead of the first joke I was going to do, as I'm going to say, if I can see this angry, uh, see this ending in one or two ways. Angry Mob 3. Save. So now that they're in the correct campaign folder and everything, you go to Assets. Um, and then you go here to Refresh Folder Assets. Now when I go to Images and I type in Angry. Ah, ah, it worked, baby. All right, so I'm going to move my story over to here. So notice if I see a few people, you see, okay, you see that a few people. have come out of there of the nearby buildings. A couple humans the uh, Spanish human with a J. And, and, and lanterns. All right, so it's going to start with different people seeing different things, different people saying different things. So once you've got it, you then do Control-3 to make it a, a speech bubble. All right, now it's just a story entry. So we want to actually make it a speech bubble. So you go click here to paragraph, right click, sorry. Oh, nice, they changed it to where you just assign speaker. Oh, thank you, fancy grounds. You guys are awesome. I'm just gonna have a commoner. I'm just gonna be, actually I'm not gonna say a commoner, I'm just gonna say a human male. Right click, assign speaker. This is going to be the priest. And uh, one of the bouncers will say that. Oops, hold on, guys. Right click, assign speaker, one of the bouncers. 
So what will happen is, so now I can go ahead and I have one mob already. I mean the encounter. So this is going to be, oh, so if you double click it, you use a preview and then you can import it to the campaign. I don't need to do anything to it. Boom, it's an image angry mob. Double click two. Import to campaign. What the world? Why is it so small? Okay, so this is not a good picture. Import to campaign. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, both of these. What the heck? Over. Will this blow up and still be good? Okay, so what I'm going to do then is if we go here to this, make it roughly this size, right click, and view. And zoom to fill. Boom. There we go. It's a little blurry, fuzzy, but that's close enough. Hit Control 1 so it's no longer a link. being hung by the angry mob. Oh, what happened to my other one? Here it is. So we do the same thing. Make a rough approximation. This is a little bit thicker. Zoom to fill. All right, so that's how you do import assets into your thing, add them to the thing. All right, so what's gonna happen is as they come out, where did my map go? It is right here, image. So they're here, they just killed the last rat, when all of a sudden, boom. Uh, we're not gonna make them hostile, we're gonna make them, oh good, they're all faction. I want them to be neutral. Well, we're gonna say faction. I'm cycling through it so that it will stay faction when I load it. Let's see if it works. It did not, okay. One click, one click, 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 click. All right, so the reason why they're all on top is because they have rolled initiative, whereas player characters have not. All right, so they're all here. Um, good, they cannot be seen, so we'll make them all visible just for the sake of this explanation. So they're gonna come out, and this priest, we're gonna start with him, he's gonna come out So if you watch the, the chat over here, he's going to be like, 
Okay, so a man's going to come out first. So we'll have this commoner be first. He's going to step out. Hey. I'm going to have this be first. Uh, what's going on here? And you see how it, it separates this into a, a speaking bubble um, as opposed to the storyline. So um, it takes a little, it, it's not quite as simple as just moving it. So we're going to delete it, move this up. Boom. Come on now, folks. All right, never mind, that won't work. Sign the speaker again. So it's gonna be, oh, what's going on here? Unless they look around, you see a few people come out of nearby buildings, a couple of humans have torches and lanterns. Um, so these guys are gonna come out He's going to come out. Um, this guy's going to ring a bell. A little handbell. Ding, 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 ding. Priest is going to come over here. They're going to have a priest pop around the corner. What are you doing this dog? Where'd the bouncer come from? All right, so the bouncer is a little far away. But as these people come out, the priest comes out. That's a window. So the priest is gonna come out here. So we will say this is Helm, and we will say this one is Grab my, no, not PH, my, is it Dungeon Master's Guide? I forget which one has the deity is in the back. I think it's PH, isn't it? Challenges. Yeah. Right, I'm just trying to find a quick another deity that's common. Here we go. All right. So these are part of the Forgotten Realms. So we'll say Mistra is the deity of magic. He's down here. So we will say, so, uh, so pretty soon after this commoner rings a bell, So 
So I'm going to say he has a bullseye lantern. They have something like 110, 120 foot directed or 60 feet, something like that. Goes with dim lights like 120. Alright, so, so you see a few people have come out of a nearby building. The man from across the street shines a bullseye lantern in your direction as he sees the bodies of the rats and the dog. He rings a handbell. Other doors soon open. The priest's gonna be right there. Ah! What are you doing to that dog? This cleric is gonna sort of walk up. You dare bring these rats to our town? See, and I have these cool NPC voices. So. Let's go ahead and roll these up so I can add them. One, two, three. They are all too high because I only go up to 70 something. Very well. Um, I go up to 82, and the first one I rolled was was 84. All right, one more time here, folks. Oops, let's not uh, close it, shall we? One, two, three. I put the roll down here. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I was not aware of that, folks. So, instead of putting the table and then having to pull up the table and roll it, I can just put this link down here. Boom. Ha, 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 ha. I like it. I like it a lot. Good, so I can do that with the quirks as well. Anyway, so we have three um, that we can actually use. Yosemite Sam. Well, the I, 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 I do say, I do declare. See, the cool thing is they don't see these. So it doesn't matter what I sound like. As long as each one is a little bit different and a little bit unique. Alright, so Yo Smite. Enter. Second priest is going to be. Whoa. Well, I do say my version of Ronald Reagan has a head nod of almost like a Richard Nixon, but the two sort of sound alike without the chin wag of Nixon. And then nasal 
pessimistic. You're bringing these brats into our town. Oh. Golly, my mistress. Tome. You gotta be everywhere. Oh. Sort of a James Stewart going on there. But again, doesn't matter what it's supposed to be like as long as they're different. All right, and so, and then before long, and bring all of them out, get all the different tokens out. Okay, and it'll all start coming out. Boom, boom, boom. Thought I had more. Boom, boom, boom. And I have a very slow person. All right, so we're going to move these, this one, at least the encounter. Um, first of all, I'm going to mark it, pin it, rather. Then I can delete it. And we're going to put... Um, Going on over there? I, I, I say, I say, what, 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 what's going on over there? All right, so we're going to say kicked out is a different um, control two, makes it a heading. We're going to put the angry mob over here. Okay, we'll open it. Oh, here it is. Poof. All right, there we go. So that'll get them out of town. Get them kicked out. So now they're going to meet the rest of the other two as the uh, Getting together. So I just need to find a map with a first. So I have these cool maps. So what kind of forest do I have now? Let's go to um, images. See what kind of forest maps I have access to now.
So the goal is, there we go, forest map pack. Forest ruins. Here's a cottage. Take a look at the next page. If I want to build my old map, I, I could. I'm not going to do that on stream just yet because I have yet. Uh, I want to make sure I get. Um, yeah, I have that one. Um, I want to get a little bit better at it before I, I s submit you guys to my learning curve. All right, so here's a forest map. All right, so we have grids, non-grid. What does this look like? I like that idea. So let's see, look at this one. Um, no, whoa, that grid is way off. I don't like that one at all. I don't see a difference between one and two. All right, so we're gonna import him to the campaign. I want these to be pretty big. I want these to be about five feet. So we go to the gritty gritty. Let's see the grid. Oh, good, perfect. That's almost what I want. Let's take a look at the color of the grid. We will switch it to black just so I can see what in the world's going on. Um, oh, that red, look at red wasn't bad. I'm gonna stick. How about uh, yellow? I don't mind the yellow. Okay, we're going to zoom in a bit. So, I'm going to shift it down. So it matches up with those top. Him, him, him. Um, darn near perfect. All right, so. Uh, I think I'm going to leave it yellow. That's fine. It works. Okay, so well, what happened was, um, So I'm going to say that earlier in the day, I was uh, trying, as he was going, as they were going into town, they passed these. Way off on the side, about 200 yards off, they saw this big arch and a couple broken walls. So they had come to, and they had, um, All right, so we have two groups. So we're gonna switch back to the other group after the angry mob. All right, so you travel throughout the day. It's uneventful. As the sun starts to set,
see an archway, so you travel through the days uneventful, and the sun starts to set, you see an archway. About 200 yards off the road. On a slight rise behind the archway are some ruins. You decide that the walls will at least protect you. You decide that the walls that are still standing at least protect you from the wind. And actually, it is biting wind. You carefully approach and determine they are empty. Although it is clear, others have used it for shelter in the past. Other travelers. Your travel throughout the day is uneventful. As the sun starts to set, you see an archway about 200 yards off the road. On a slight rise behind the archway are some ruins. You decide the walls. That still that are still standing or that still stand that are still standing will at least protect you from the biting wind. You carefully approach and determine they are empty, although it is clear other travelers have used it for shelter in the past. All right, so So the married couple, or not married, but the, the couple are going to uh, find it first. We need to put the image, link it, click. So I'm going to keep this the way it is. Change the name to Forest Ruins. See, so the, if it's unidentified, they see whatever it usually says unidentified map. I, if I remember, I, I try to change that. I don't like this seeing Acme identified map. So, bum bum bum. Very cool. What is this? No, it's a tiger. Interesting jungle troll. Okay. All right, so we've got the image. We've got the So we're going to make this a story entry. Boink. Story entry. Um, and then Little lines. The other group is 
As you flee the angry mob, you remember some ruins you had found. About 30 minutes outside of town. Copy, paste. as you were heading toward the outskirts of Baldur's Gate. You had seen an archway about 20 yards off the road on site right behind the archway. were some ruins. Control three. Curiosity getting the best of both of you. You control V. You had carefully approached the long abandoned. Ruins and determined they were empty. After looking around You determine, okay. As you flee the angry mob, you remember some ruins you had found about 30 minutes outside of town. As you were heading toward the outskirts of Baldur's Gate, you had seen an archway about 200 yards off the road. On a slight rise behind the archway were some ruins. Curiosity getting the best of both of you, you had carefully approached the long abandoned ruins, and after looking around, you determined they were empty, although it was clear. Other travelers had to use it for shelter. In the past is redundant and unnecessary. Control three. In the past was not so redundant and unnecessary up here because they were actually looking to use it as a home. So now they are trying to get to, so they flee and they get here. Boom. I don't need to link the map again because I've already got the map up because the other group already did it. Uh, I'm just checking my spelling of curiosity. Ha, huh, I did it right. Yay. Okay. Anger mob, close. So they're going to sleep tonight. They're going to get a long rest. Everybody's going to be happy. And then they will be captured by the drow. Uh, 
Alright, so I'm trying to determine how I want that to unfold. Um, I think just to make it quick and simple, they're just going to be overwhelmed. Surrounded, overwhelmed, ouch, taken out within first couple rounds. Actually, I don't even think they're going to know what the hell is going on. Darkness is going to, they're going to cast darkness on them. So, um, they're going to cast darkness on them. And then they're going to attack. They will hear sounds. in a cage and then they're going to wake up in the real story all right so what is that um Alright, so there's an image I want to find of. So there's these giant creatures that um, in the rise of the drow. Pretty sure they start with an S, so let's jump to the end. What were they called? They were called... I'm not seeing them. They're, they're these giant... Um, I will have them see if one of them see a riding slug with a snurf neblin on the back. trying to remember so there's these, there's these giant tortoises um, that are or, or dinosaur looking things rather um, let's, let me go to my NPCs and see if I can remember from the NPCs the name of them Because what they're gonna there's a caravan of these things they're gonna be passing. These are gargantuan creatures. People ride on the back of them. And uh, alright, I'm not seeing it so easiest way to find these things is to go to your library, go to your book, go to the reference manual. Alright, so this is in the thing I was thinking about is
think it's here. No, it's not here. Okay. Here it is, Caravan Assault. Uh, is that the creature I was talking about? So that's what I want to find. And um, this is the map with the GM. See? Boom, 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 boom. This is the size of these creatures. All right, so this is what I want. Caravan Assault. And we're going to get this. We're going to get this. My story back. All right, so these are going to be, as they're coming in and out of consciousness, they're going to be kept unconscious most of the time. Oh, I locked it. I don't know, way into darkness. I don't know. They get captured. And these are some of the images that they see. Snurf Neblin. Riding a slug. And yeah, then caravan assault. Boom. You can see the, the dwarfs sitting on these things. All right, so your eyes struggle to oh, your eyes struggle to open. Darkness surrounds you. Your eyes struggle to your eyes struggle to open. Darkness surrounds you. You feel swaying and the creaking of wheels. And you realize you are not really swaying. In your back of a wagon is more bumps. <laughs> You are, you are a jostled. Actually, here, yeah. The wooden surface. You are. Laying on. Oh, 
Let's see. What exactly would, <coughs> excuse me, is jostled? Or would jostled fit in this? Push elbow or bump against roughly. <coughs> or struggle for or complete force blade. Let's see. So it's not really jostled. The wooden surface you are laying on. moves suddenly and what you are laying on moves suddenly and you realize you are in the back of a Wagon. As the creaking of wheels And the snort of a beast reaches your ears. There are eyes close again as sleep. overwhelms you. Alright, so see how that sounds. Your eyes struggle to open. Darkness surrounds you. The wooden surface you are laying on moves suddenly and you realize you are in the back of a wagon. The creaking of wheels and the snort of a beast reaches your ears. Your eyes close again as sleep overwhelms you. Okay, then... You see... Light. Open your eyes. Blurry figure moving next to you. As your eyes slowly focus see a strange sight. Alright, so I can just use this just as it is. Boom. So the first strange sight they see is the Snarf Nevelin riding a slug. Light coming from his head. His helmet. And then you fade back into darkness. Your eyes begin to close 
the last thing your brain registers is that there are bars. the walls of the wagon would all right so you see a faint light behind your eyelids and when you open them blurry figures moving up next to you as your eyes slowly focus you see a strange sight this will also be the same image I use for the other person who sees the caravan assault, the other people. And then your eyes begin to close. The last thing your brain registers is that there are bars where the walls of the wagon would normally be. I'm going to have one or two people see the first two images. And let's see, do I have a cavern image of a cavern? Not the type of image I was looking for. So let's see. What kind of image? So the last thing I want them to see is this is some sort of surreal cavernous look. Be very vague. There we go. Let's see what kind of images we can get here. Ooh, this one's pretty cool. What is that? Oh, it's forges. Okay, don't need forges. I do like that though. I might, I might keep that one. Pretty cool. I like that cobwebs cavern. I like this. Look at that. What just happened? Let's try. Where'd the other one go that I liked? Take a look at this puppy. Fantasy Flight Games. a web page. I don't want it to be a web page. So I don't know if the webbed cave has the cavern, word cavern on it. Let's see. It does not. Okay. Yeah, I like it. 
All right, so. This is from Fantasy Flight Games. Nice little picture there on, as you can see, Ponton Canvas. Um, it's The website is actually canvas.pantone.com. So again, we go to Assets, click, Refresh, Image, and now I can do Web. Actually, I should have just done Web Canvas, but that's okay. We got what I wanted. Double click it to open up the preview. Import to campaign. It's a great size right here. All right, so this is not quite exactly what happens. Um, So this is close to it though. So we're gonna go ahead and do this. See a faint light behind your eyelids when you uh, open them. Sea light streaming from the ceiling. About twenty feet away. As your eyes slowly focus, you see a strange sight. Filter E. Let's go ahead and throw this Huebit cave in there. What? Image webbed cave. This time I'm just going to leave it identified so that they can see it. All right, so it says, you see a faint light behind your eyelids, and when you open them, you see a light shining, uh, streaming from the ceiling about 20 feet away. As your eyes slowly focus, you see a strange sight. Bam! Your eyes begin to close. The last thing your brain registers is that there are bars between where the walls the wagon would normally be. All right, so everybody's going to see that. And then each one is going to see something different. So that's three out of four. So I will have, um, I'll let everybody see one thing. Right now I have four images that they see. Do any of them have dark vision? Let's see. I'm pretty sure some of my PCs do. Potty sheet, here we go. Boom, two of them. Yep, Rugs and Zweklos have dark vision. So one of them will. Maybe. All right, so that gives me something to start with. This one went a little long today. Um, hopefully you found it interesting and learned how to import images, incorporate them. Uh, so next week, we will uncover who took them and why, where they're going. All they know at this point after next week's session, uh, this week's session will be they are captured they are underground. They don't know anything else beyond that. All right. Um, might even play some music. Find some uh, like 
cavern dripping noises and things like that. Um, I have that going on in the background. So, if you want, um, tomorrow, Wednesday, every Wednesday, typically about 10, 1030, I start, I uh, do the same thing with, um, mine's going blank, with Starfinder. So, to come back out and see how Starfinder differs, differs from 5e, um, a lot of the mechanics from the dungeon master standpoint a lot of it's the same and then if you want to see how that starfinder game plays out sunday night at 5 30 pacific time and then of course on thursdays a little change of pace we have magic the gathering arena where i uh play through that so come check it out but whatever else you do please enjoy the rest of your day